So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pasuelo from Curval.com and it is time again for another DAX Fridays. I'm sorry that I'm publishing this a little bit late. Just time disappeared from me today. But uh, anyhow, today DAX Fridays is actually a function called cross join. And what it basically does is it helps you join tables. And I have a very good example that will basically and very quickly show you how it works. So if you don't know how this function works, make sure you stay tuned. Let's start. Okay, so we are going to do as we normally do. We're going to go to Microsoft uh, documentation and see what they say about the cross join function. And it says it returns a table that contains the quotation product of all rows from all tables in the argument. Hmm. Uh, the columns in the new table are all the columns in all the argument tables. The actual syntax is very easy. Cross join and then table one, table two, table three. So nothing strange there. Um, the column names from the table arguments must be different. Otherwise, the uh, error will be returned. So you cannot have table one with a column name called I don't know, uh, building, and then in the table two, it also says building because then you will get an error. And here is telling you how the actual join happens, but they have a, a nice example here. So there you have two tables, table one colors contain color and pattern and table stationary contain fonts and presentations. And then they said, okay, you can join both. And then you will get a combination of all these. So if you say that these, for example, red has serif has unserif the same for green and blue, then it will do that for you. So you would get all the combinations possible. So this is quite a nice function. So in my example, I'm actually going to show you something that perhaps is useful for you, depending on, um, yeah, well, perhaps it's useful for you, but I think it makes the actual join very, very clear. So if we move to Power BI, I have here two tables, one that has four years, 2015, 16, 17, and 18, and then all the months that you have in a year. And let's say that we want to create a year month table. So either you do this by hand or you go to Excel and you paste it here or you import it from Excel. Um, yeah, they have a lot of possibilities, but there is actually one way to do it that demonstrates cross join, I think, very, very well. And is that you go here, you create a new table, cross join returns a table, and uh, you call it year month. Of course, there are other ways to do this, but I think this exemplifies the function very well. Cross join, and then as I said, you have to write the name of the table. We have a table called year. And then the name of the other table called month. You click enter and suddenly you have a year month table for all the years that you specify on the year table. So if we sort by 2015, here you have. So year month, year month, year month. So how cool is this? And then as they explain on their um, on the Microsoft documentation, you can of course do all kinds of other joins that are useful uh, depending on the calculations that you want to do. But uh, cross join is uh, a nice function to join all the possible combinations on a table. Okay. So when I was playing with this function, when I discovered it, I said, like, okay, that's nice. But what happens if, and this is why this example I think is so good, because it is so simple that it allows you to play with it. So I said, what happens if for the year I have 2015 twice? It could happen, you know, if you have a lot of data or you have a lot of colors and one of the colors is repeated, what will that do? And if you look at this, let it run, you will get 2015 twice. So it is actually going to iterate through column, so through row one on all the rows on the other table, row two all the rows on the other table, and it won't I mean, it won't take into account that you perhaps have duplicates or whatever it is. So it's going to give you a mass up of everything. I just want you to be aware of that. Okay. So, uh, 
yeah, with that said, um, it is all for today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was a little bit late in schedule than normal. If you like the video as usual, let me know by liking it or by sharing it with somebody that you think should know or benefit from this function. Don't forget to fill the Tax Friday survey. I forget to tell it every time, but I always read it. So make sure if you have any feedback to me, just go there and just write it up. I'll read it always. And if you're new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Monday is for Power Query, Wednesday is for Power BI, all kinds of crazy stuff that I come up to. And uh, Fridays is always a DAX Friday function that we go through, okay? So if you're new, subscribe. You will uh, get notifications if you click on the bell uh, next to the subscribe button. So don't forget to do that. And uh, with that said, I wish you all a very, very, very nice weekend. So make sure you enjoy it. Bye.